everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another floral design that I'm painting on this glass wine bottle. I am going to be using a number 8 Deerfoot Stippler, two a Magic paint brushes. These are the long, long uh, handles, number 6 and number 8. And then my 3-0 oh Princeton round brush and my Westonia fine liner brush. Paints I'm using are Classic Green, Calypso Sky, Aqua, Wicker White, Teal Topaz, Coffee Latte, and Real Brown. These are all combination of folk art paints multi-surface and enamels. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I've cleaned my bottle. I repurpose my bottles and paint designs on them and then wipe them off and then paint again. So I've already gone ahead and washed this off. What I'd recommend is once you've washed yours off, whatever glass item you're painting on, is just make sure you also go over it with rubbing alcohol to make sure you get all leftover debris or oils that you may have put on it by handling it that those are actually removed. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I am, I try to show you, but a lot of times it's, it's difficult with the way I do my videos, but I'm going to start off with the Calypso Sky and the Wicker White. I am going to double load my brush, and I like to just tip the sides of the brush, the flat brushes, into the paint and then give it a blending stroke. I'm going to, I put these long handles sometimes it's a little hard, but I'm going to do a design where I create an outer layer of petals. You can go over them if you want. I'm going to move this back out of the way. I'll tell you. I've got Sorry if you hear, heard my dog upstairs barking. But it's just a real e oops, put these in wrong. Just a real easy stroke that I'm doing. And I'm just placing the brush on, pushing it down a little bit, and then pulling it back towards me. And we'll continue on around. Do the same thing. Pull it around. Now, what I was going to say is if you want to go over this a second time, you know, before you paint the next layer, that's fine. Uh, the thicker you make your paint, the more opaque it is, the more durable your design is going to be. And I like to try to mention that in my videos because that is something that's very important. If you do just a real thin line or a real thin paint design, like even this, might come off pretty easily or scratch. Not necessarily that's going to rub off, but you're more apt to having scratches. All right, so I'm going to do another little flower up at the top here. And I just keep turning, turning my item. It's one thing nice about painting on something that you can turn as opposed to something that's fixed but because then you can't actually do this and you have to learn how to do the designs without moving the item. On this floral design I'm using three different colors of paint. I'm using the Teal, to teal Topaz, the Calypso Sky, and the Aqua. And then I'm just going to come over here and just do a little smaller flower. And I am going to do this as if the flowers are attached to one stem. And you can leave an opening in the center if you want because I am going to pounce the center in with the Deerfoot Stippler, so that's perfectly fine. Alright, so now what you could do is go ahead and hit it 
with a dryer of some sort, whether it's a hair dryer or a heat gun, just to give it a little bit more drying time. I'm going to continue on and avoid that step, but that's perfectly fine. The next step I'm going to do is go in with the aqua and basically repeat the design that I just did. Same shape petals and all, but I'm just going over it. And you'll see a little bit of the underneath as I'm creating the design on top of it. Now you can see that this is actually going on a little bit more opaque, or actually a lot more. That can be a combination between the actual paint colors, because some are more opaque than others, whereas some come across being very light and might require another, another um, coat of paint. But like I said, for the purpose of this video, I'm just giving you the option. If you want to do that, you can go back over and do that again. Up to you. Alright, so we're going to keep doing this. I'm going to go over this one, do the same. Go over this one and do the same. That's just a real simple flower, and I think I just pulled some green in there. Because my white has some green in it. So what I do is I paint the design on paper before I put it on glass and then I continue on painting it on the glass piece and have to adjust the design based on the space that I have. So it will not necessarily be identical to the sample that I create, but it will be similar. It gives me an idea of what I'm working with. And I always include that piece in the picture when I'm posting it, posting the video. Alright, so we have one little one left. So I'm just not putting as much pressure on my brush to, to create little flower petals. Pretty easy, and that's what the point of my channel is, is for easy designs for anybody to paint. Anybody. Great practice material is wax paper. When you're trying to paint on a slippery surface like glass, the wax paper is a great substitute. The next color I'm going to go into is the Teal Topaz. Using the same brush tube, you notice that. I'm just going to come in here and just continue on doing the same strokes. Now that one has a little bit more white on it than what I wanted, so I'm just going to go like that and then just continue on. And then just keep going. That's a pretty combination. Because that you could make the petals underneath the first one be a little bit more present, make them a little larger. However, I'm just going to do it as I've, I'm doing here. I'm going to come down here to the little one, scrape my brush off a little bit. And then just keep turning it. It's pretty. Just a pretty design to put on glass. It's too much white. So I just go over it again. Tip my brush into the teal. Over like that. And I got one last one to go over. 
and then we can be putting the center in. I hope you like this design. Anytime that you're viewing my videos, if you try my designs, I would love to see pictures of them on my Facebook page. I have the link to my Facebook page down below. All right. So next I'm going to pick up the brush. Now on this one, you might want to take some time to throw a hair dryer on this or a heat gun just so that when you pounce on the center, it doesn't mix too much. All right, so the next step I'm going to do is use the Deerfoot Stippler. I'm going to put the, the front part of the bristles into the coffee latte. I'm going to do a little pouncing motion. You can do all of one color and then go back and add in another. That's up to you. I try to make them as round as possible. That's just how I like them. I try to make them fit the size of the flower too. I'm going to go ahead and tap in. And I'm sorry, my air conditioner is kicking on. I'm going to go ahead and tap in a little bit of this real brown to the bottom of it. Over here. Just tip it in and then do it over here too. And then I'm just going to stick the white, the brush in general. And I pounce up to get a lot of it off because I don't really want a lot of white on here. But just to put another, maybe another color in here makes it just a little more interesting. And if you want, you can do you know, more around your centers as far as dots and such. That would be fine. Very pretty. All right, so what I'm going to do next is take my little 3 slash O brush, go into the classic green, dip it in, single color, and then I'm going to do my, my vine. And I want this to be where it's like it's coming up and going down. And these are coming up and going down into the stem. They're all feeding into the same. And then I'm going to just have my stem come out to, through the bottom here. As I mentioned, one stem. One stem only. Alright, so I'm going to put in this other color of green. And that's the lime green. And I just like to do both colors like this, just to give it, where it shows up better, especially on the glass that's dark like this and green. Again, it just gives it a little more interest by putting the different colors in here. So very simple, you're just doing it with a single, a single little brush. However, just so that you know, you can actually use your flat brush too when you're drawing, you know, doing doing these this kind of line work. Now the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm doing the same thing as far as loading from side to side into my greens. I'm going to touch a little bit of the lighter side of my brush into the white. And I'll keep doing this on and off and end coming back in and adding more paint. I'm going to do this set of flower, or not flowers, but um, leaves with the different, different colors where I have light, not oh, light to the opposite there, let's get some green or white in there, where I have the lighter side on one side and the darker side on the other. And pull the stem through. 
So they're not the same color on both sides. So I make sure I have these straight because I keep dipping them into paint. And like on this one, I think I'm going to go light out here, bring it down. I can go up here, go like this, and go back over that. Pull it down. And then I'm going to do the darker over here. And pull it down. And I can shoot a stem down through the center of it, like that. Oops. Just going to make sure I get confused and have my stems going in different, or my green's going in different directions here than what I wanted. A lot of wiggling, a little bit of wiggling, however you want to do it. That has a middle there. Let's do that again. Got a lot of paint in the center there. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrape my brush off a little bit. I got too much paint on my brush. More for me than what I like. Some people like a lot of paint. And then come back over here. And I'll put it over here. And then bring it down. I'm going to get some paint off of here again. And then, because of this being a little bit different, I'm going to pull some out from my flowers themselves. Because I don't really have as much stem space going on on this as I did on my paper. And just pull it down. Do it again. I'm going to do my darker on this side. Here, do it again. So it wants to separate a little bit. So you just have to be careful with that. Sometimes you're going to have to lift up your brush and just maybe do more of a tapping action to keep it from doing that. It just depends. Pull it down. Now, if you don't want a lot of leaves, you don't have to. I mean, I just, I like a lot of leaves. If you follow me, you know that I like a lot of leaves. So you're going to find that most of my designs are going to be leaf filled. Again, I'm sorry about the air conditioner. There's not much I can do about that. It comes on periodically as I'm painting. I just got some blue in there I didn't want. All right, let's see if we can do another one up here. Do a little bit of the darker green, which I think I was supposed to have on the outside. And see, I like when I can get my leaves to look a little bit different, that they're not all the same. All right, so let's see here. I have all these in here. Now I could flip a flip a. Uh, I wanted to. Let's see if I can get this to look right. So let's say I could flip a petal up here. And I'm just kind of lifting it a little bit, having it come up that direction, just so that it kind of fills in this area a little bit. And you could also put filler filler leaves in here if you wanted to. You don't always have to be all have to be the same kind of leaf whenever you're painting. I just like this style of leaf, so I wanted to have it be all that style for this project. The last thing I'm going to do is take my fine liner and I'm going to go into my classic green, which is the darker green. And typically you should thin this out. I'm just going to come do some little swirlies here 
and I'm going to thin this out a little bit as far as on my brush and then I'm just going to come through with the other color so that you can see it more. And I'll come up here and do it just little swirlies coming out. Now you have to keep in mind when you add these swirlies it might be a situation where because they're kind of thin they are not going to be as durable as if you know we're, we'll, they were put on thicker so keep that in mind but it's okay when you're doing a bottle like this you're not going to be handling it as much as if you were doing a uh, wine glass or something of the sort so it's not as not as big of a deal and I'm just going to go through here just to kind of give it some interest like that and you can add more but you, you get the gist right Alright, I think that's very pretty. If I were to paint this to put lights in, I would actually do the design all the way around. For the purpose of the video, though, I'm just doing it on the front. If you like this design, please give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And when you're finished viewing, please share my video on your social network with your family and friends. Very easy, just hit the share button you'll find underneath the video and share away. Alright. Thanks so much again for viewing my videos. If you want to stick around and view some more, please do so. And until the next time, you stay safe and healthy and have a good one.